welcome to our Jesse Tree devotionals for today. My name is Anne Delgado and I'm joined by my son James and we are happy to spend this time with you during this wonderful season of Advent. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We'll have a reading uh, from the book of Genesis. I will establish my covenant with you. You shall go into the ark, you and your sons, your wife and your sons' wives with you. Of all living creatures, you shall bring two of every kind into the ark, one male and one female, to keep them alive along with you. One every kind of bird, one every kind of animal, and of every kind of thing that crawls on the ground. Two of each will come to you, that you may keep them alive. Moreover, you are to provide yourself with all the food that is to be eaten and stored away, that it may serve as, as provisions for you and for them. Noah complied. He did just as God has commanded him. All right. So that is a very familiar story to a lot of us, Noah's Ark, uh, and a very familiar symbol. And so on our ornament uh, for this story, we have the sky, um, we have the little ark, and we have the beautiful rainbow uh, that, that, again, are, are symbols in this important story. This is a story about promise, uh, specifically God's promise to us. This is a major moment for us. Um, it's a story we, we all know, but this is about God's promise uh, to us. Now, he doesn't promise that we are not going to have um, times of trial. I think a 40-day flood uh, definitely falls into that category, and we might think in our own lives of times of trial um, when we have these, these uh, obstacles that we have to overcome. But the promise that God makes to us is that he will always stay faithful uh, to us. He will always walk with us in his great love. And that is a really uh, important um, an abiding promise that he makes. And not only that, he promises um, that he is, he is not going to put us through uh, these unnecessary troubles. We talked uh, a couple days ago about uh, God's creation being good and God creating good from the chaos. And this is, this is another um, piece of that promise, uh, that, that God works for good um, in our lives and that um, he is more powerful than any flood, any trial. Uh, that we may encounter. And not only that, he sends us a symbol. Uh, the rainbow is a symbol of this abiding love. And so even now when we, after a rainstorm, uh, we can go out and we can see this every time we see this in the sky. And I, I hope we've all seen this, this symbol uh, on our own. We, we know that this is a reminder of God, from God, of this promise. Uh, and that is a really, really neat reminder that we get to see uh, in our lives. And so this is this is a story of that promise and a reminder that God is faithful um, and, and we strive to be faithful to God as well. So we will do our call and response and have our prayer. And you can think about the story. Behold, the desire of all nations will come. And, and the, the house, house of, of the, the Lord, Lord will, will be filled, filled with, with glory. glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have placed in the skies the sign of your covenant with all living things. Grant that we, who are saved through water and the Spirit, may worthily offer to you our sacrifice of thanksgiving. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. 